we got a guest metal detectorist here for uh, our channel. Um, hey, what are you looking for? This is Mike McCready, and I am looking for my guitar picks I left here at the Mariner Stadium last time. So I'm going to... This is... Oh my god, look, he doesn't have a detector, but there he is. What, did you find anything? What'd you find? Oh my god, that is treasure. Wow, those are really cool guitar picks. Who designed them? You did. Pirate Mike did. Love Seattle, little area we're in is Leshai. That's Bellevue across the uh, the lake over there. Let's see if I can zoom in on that. And uh, we're gonna go look for some sea glass down here on the beach. And uh, usually, usually there's a lot of little pieces. This area is is pretty old, and, and at uh, one point in time, you know, there were a lot of logging um, barges and that kind of thing in the area. And from what I understand, they would actually take some of the cut trees from way up the hill and slide them down into the lake. But at any rate, a friend of mine who lives here uh, actually goes out there and digs some clay out uh, right by the dock. And um, in there, he's found all sorts of little artifacts. A lot of railroad ties, or it's not railroad ties, railroad spikes and, and all that kind of stuff. And then he's also collected sea glass, um, kind of like me, but he's found some purples out here and some reds. So we're gonna go see what we can find down there. All right, I see two of them before I even got to the bottom of the stairs. So I think, I think this is a white one. In fact, it is, or clear. Obviously they turn white and it's been drying out in the sun right here. So uh, it is, uh, it's bright white right now. And that's where we're gonna put our little pile. But then I also see right here, a green one. And uh, these river, or not river, lake, pebbles do uh, an amazing job of polishing it so you get I guess it's not sea glass technically it's lake glass but you get some really neat pieces so I'm gonna do a little more looking and I'll uh, show you what I find all right I see another clear one right here and again you know they look bright white when they're uh, dry but this is what they look like when they're when they're uh, wet Put that up in our little collection. We're at three and counting. I see a brown piece right here. But I also see this really cool piece of pottery. And then I saw this huge piece. I think this one needs to go back out. It's a little too big for me. So I'm gonna throw it back in. And hopefully it'll break up into some smaller pieces. And I do think this area was probably, you know, somewhat of a dump at one point in time. Um, I'm sure that, you know, some of it might be from, uh, you know, later on in the 
50s and 60s when people were coming down here and drinking and throwing their bottles in the lake but I think a lot of it really is from when they would just kind of in the old days pushed up into the lake again some of the stuff that he's finding out here is is much older than uh, than the you know the regular greens and whatnot oh there's a good clear white one pretty neat I see another pretty cool piece of what looks to be pottery of some sort. Maybe a handle off a jug. I think maybe one of those old, you know, like whiskey jug handles or something. Kind of neat. Yeah, it's interesting. I'm really intrigued. Um, and I watch a lot of videos. There's a guy in, uh, in, um, England, actually a couple people in England I really, really like. There's actually three. Tobin I really like, uh, Nicola White who finds a lot of old, um, you know, pipes from the 15 to 1700s. And then there's another guy, Cy Fines, if you ever get a chance to watch any of their uh, channels, they're amazing. And they do what's called mudlarking and they uh, they walk along, along the Thames River and find uh, just really cool old artifacts. And Nicole actually makes some really cool art out of a uh, sea glass and other things she finds. He's really bitching fish. So um, if you ever get a chance, check that out. I'd love to someday go uh, mudlarking. I, I guess they're no longer giving permits because so many people are doing it now, but it's really kind of neat. Some of the stuff they find ends up in uh, the Museum of London and other museums that are so, you know, truly valuable from an archaeological standpoint and you know some of the finds are things that you would never know and a lot of people don't know this in 1666 the city of london basically burned to the ground and they pushed all of uh, what was left into the into the thames river and so people find stuff there quite often that you know dates way back including even uh, i think they find like mammoth bones and all sorts of stuff so let's check it out yeah, another little something that we get that's man-made. We find these in the ocean as well. There's a lot of bricks, which uh, are often, you know, remnants of, of uh, buildings being demoed, that kind of thing. If you look right there underneath that rock, there's a piece of brick. I don't pick them up, but I know a lot of people who do um, collect them and put them in their gardens and that kind of thing. Now, there's another little piece of, of what at one point in time was a brick. Yeah, maybe we'll stick that in our collection. Not finding a lot of sea glass. It's uh, getting kind of a. Oh, wait, I say that, and there's a little clear piece right there. There's a little more brick. All right, super hard to spot. But if you look right there, there's a really well polished piece of brown. And uh, there you go, that's what it looks like when it's wet. Got another clear one. All right, see if you guys can spot it. Right there. Nice piece of clear. And for those of you guys who like to uh, to sea glass hunt, or if you never have, the three easiest colors to find are brown, green, and clear. The hardest colors are blue, red, there's purples, yellows, and a few other colors that are almost impossible to find. Oh, I just saw a clear one, but it got washed away. All right, let's see what we can find. All right, our collection is growing. A little more brick, but brick is not what we're after. See another clear one. It's funny, usually I find a lot more green and brown. But today has kind of been uh, a clear day. It's a clear day in Seattle. Ooh, I think I see this glimmering over here. A little piece little teeny piece of clear a piece of brown just washed in now if I can get it before it washes back out that will be the that'll be the trick oh there it goes right there
Sorry for the shaky camera work. I'm on my phone. GoPro's already packed because we're flying back today. I was just watching some of Robert Ferguson's videos. He did, by the way, find a really beautiful ring on his last video. So never watch Robert Ferguson. You should. But uh, here's a really cool. He's he's doing some rock hounding stuff. So I think if I can get a good shot of this, it's really kind of cool. It's got a red stripe that goes through this rock. What I think is worth keeping. Doing. We have a wild animal in the in the uh, vegetable garden. Finally got a piece that's not quite white. And I think it's probably from an old Coke bottle. It's kind of that tint of seafoam green. I'm gonna have you guys look and see if you can find anything I'm not seeing because I feel like my eyes are just not seeing anything right now. For whatever given reason, I'm usually bet oh, I said that, and there it is a tiny and I mean tiny clear one. It'll be a pretty cool piece of quartz. Hopefully it'll ah, not go out with the ocean. Or, sorry, it's not an ocean. Go out with the uh, with the wave. Kind of a neat little piece of quartz. Stick that in the, uh, in the collection. And the collection is growing. We're going to move a little bit of aggregate around. Just see if we can maybe see something in it that is... Uh, Kind of hidden within right now. I'm not seeing as much as I usually see. But a lot of the sand is missing here too, so it may have gone out with it. Uh, I see a brown one moving. Oh shoot, can I catch it? I did catch it. I have detected on this beach before, <laughs> before, and I think I found a penny and some nails. Um, been quite a few years, but uh, I don't think there's much to be found here. My detector's already packed up, so this is not gonna be the time I do it, but maybe next time I come. There is a beach kind of a, on the other side of that bridge that uh, I have detected before and found some change and a lot of bottle caps and pull tabs, but Yesterday I drove by it and it was packed. And I kind of thought about getting up early to go and do it this morning, but we stayed up late last night playing uh, card games, and so I did not make it. That is the I-90 bridge, by the way. So I did notice yesterday that we uh, actually got to 700 subscribers. So actually at the uh, Mariners game when that happened but uh, I think what we're gonna do is at 750 I'm gonna do a big big giveaway and I'm actually gonna do two of them so it'll be two different winners um, each person will win a t-shirt each person will win um, I don't know how many rings but I'll kind of do something where I get some of those rings that Matt gave us and then I'll also do some of the sea glass that I find so I think I did just see another piece of brown next to a piece of a brick. It's harder to see them, quite frankly, when they dry out because they don't uh, shine at all. I think I'm going to find a couple more and then uh, go up to the house and see what my wife is doing. I just was moving some of the uh, aggregate around and I found a nice little piece of green glass. All right, I think these are going to be our last few pieces. I'm going to go up and see what my wife is doing. I came looking for my wife, and I found her. Hi, babe. Hi. Here's my uh, lovely assistant holding our uh, collection of sea glass and pottery. 
And then, Mike, do you want to show us what you found in the lake? That railroad tie is really cool. Oh, yeah. He's this railroad tie. And the history behind this is that in Lake Washington, around the turn of the century, uh, they would pull logs across the lake um, uh, with, with boats, and then they had these t railroad ties that would hook these logs together. They would, they would dr eventually drag over the hill to the other side. To, they called it Skid Row, where the, 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 all the logs would, from the trees they cut down would go to, to ship around the world. And this is one of the railroad ties that apparently held the logs together while they were taking them around to get to the, to the port over there. So I told the story, but I told it the opposite direction. They were bringing the logs this way. So that tells you. And I also also called it a railroad tie. It is actually a railroad spike. Ah. And that is really cool. That's not a good tie. And he, it's definitely not a good tie. I mean, you look very yeah. professional. Thank you. Here's the wrap up from Seattle. We got four pieces of green sea glass. We got uh, nine pieces of brown sea glass. And I believe we got 12 pieces of white sea glass or clear sea glass. And we did get one little piece of green or seafoam green sea glass. We did get two pieces of brick, two pieces of pottery, piece of quartz, and a really cool little rock with a red stripe in it. Um, as I mentioned, um, we are going to be doing the big, big giveaway. It starts with this video, so you guys can enter into this video and then the next video. A couple people entered. I probably shouldn't have done the teaser. I just kind of let you guys know it was coming in the last video. So if you guys uh, did comment in the last video, unfortunately, those, um, you know, those comments won't be counted. Those entries won't be in there. Uh, I want it to be a fair playing field. So again, we're just doing two videos this one and the next video uh, coming out and those videos will be the only two that we will be taking entries from uh, makes my life a lot easier because uh, it's crazy trying to go back into a bunch of videos so again this video next video only two videos and i will include some of this lake glass um, and some of the other stuff in with some sea glass as well and i'll put those in separate bags so you know where it came from and uh, there you go Looks like we're almost up to 750 subscribers. So by the time this post, it may actually be 750, which means it's time for another giveaway. 
So I'm gonna do two separate giveaways. Each person will get three of the rings that Matt found. Uh, each person will get some sea glass. You'll also get some stickers and a t-shirt. So we're gonna call this the big, big giveaway. So uh, as soon as we have 750 subscribers, we're gonna start that giveaway. And again, it'll be called the big, big giveaway. Well, as you guys probably saw in this last video, uh, my best friend is a guy named Mike McCready and he is the lead guitarist in the band Pearl Jam. So um, these are the guitar picks. I did draw these for him. And if you, you can spell my name <laughs> and his name um, with the picks and uh, they are considered collectible. And if you look at the backs of them, there's little pictures on each of them. And uh, those pictures um, are a code that I won't tell you about. You probably can find it out on the internet. Uh, if you collect all of them, you can again spell the name Mike. And again, it's not really my name. It's his name, Mike McCready. And uh, I am going to add... Uh, two of these into each of the big, big giveaways. So each person will get at random uh, either an M, an I, a K, and an E. They'll get two different letters worth. And so we're going to add that to the big, big giveaway. So again, somebody's going to get rings, they're going to get stickers, they're going to get sea glass, and they're going to get some lake glass, and they're going to get some of these picks. So they'll get two picks three rings, some sea glass, some lake glass, two stickers, and a shirt. And we're gonna do that times two. So there'll be two actual giveaways. So I will uh, be giving two lucky people those things. Again, when you guys do enter into the contest, make sure you say big, big giveaway in your comments. If it just says giveaway or a contest, you won't be in it. We're only gonna do it for two videos. And as soon as we have 750 subscribers, I will start that process. All right, looks like we did it. We have 750, actually 52, 752 subscribers, which means the big, big giveaway is going. So go ahead and comment in this video and the next video. We're only gonna do it for two videos this time. Um, go ahead and comment, big, big giveaway, and you'll be entered into the contest. Hey guys, Pirate Mike here want to say thank you guys so much for watching i have no idea why i do this but every time i find a half dollar at the beach i stick it in my eye again i sure hope you like my channel and thank you again for watching and for subscribing i really really appreciate it love it if you guys would subscribe you can just click on my head right here or you can watch either of these two videos